Well, health professionals are busy working on vaccines as well as better treatments for COVID-19. We thought we would check in with Dr. Stephen Pergam, infectious disease expert at Fred Hutch, UW, and Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Welcome back to the show, Dr. Pergam. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, so what are some of the most interesting or, or new scientific developments related to COVID-19? Well, I think probably the biggest news is um, all the vaccines that are in the pipeline. I think it's been fascinating to see um, just the number that have come to the forefront so quickly. Um, and I think that's exciting. We're seeing a lot in phase three trials and um, I think that's really encouraging for a lot of people. Yeah, and how much of a local role um, do we have in that conversation scientifically speaking? Yeah, I think it's important for people to recognize that um, Dr. Larry Corey um, and my colleagues at the Fred Hutcher are, are leading a lot of these national efforts. Um, they are um, designing and developing these trials and, and assuring that um, they're getting to the right populations. So I think it's really exciting to see, to see Seattle taking a lead and, and Fred Hutch being a big part of that. Absolutely. You know, we're getting ready. I hate to say, you know, summer's ending, right? So we're getting into the fall and winter season. So a lot of people are concerned about what will happen COVID, to COVID-19 as we get, go into this next season. So how concerned are you about that piece of it? Yeah, I, I think, you know, we, we expect to see changes in the fall. I think um, Seattle and the state of Washington have done a really good job of managing COVID. I think we should be really proud of the public health efforts that have uh, happened here. I think um, from the politicians all the way down to people on the line, they're doing great, a great job. Um, at any time we're changing our season and you're starting to see um, more people spending time inside in close contact, um, we're, we always worry about more transmission. And we see that with respiratory viruses in our normal respiratory virus season. I, I think, uh, you know, we, we expect to see more cases as the, the fall season rolls around. And is that what history teaches us as well when it comes to other diseases that have been similar? Yeah, I mean, I think with flu, RSV and, and other respiratory viruses, we typically see um, these roll around in the winter season. Um, so I think the expectation is that with cold, dry air, and with people inside more, um, this is going to be um, an opportunity for the, the, the infection to spread. Yeah, so this is our moment to double down. As many of us are getting tired of not seeing each mm -hmm. other or being able to gather in the groups, this is our time to double yeah. down and just keep doing what we've been doing. Um, so what can viewers do to get involved in terms of supporting the efforts of our local researchers? Sure. So I think one really important opportunity is for people to sign up for the vaccine trials. Um, we need a diversity of people involved. Um, so um, people um, of color and um, people who um, are um, available to, to, to be involved in these clinical trials, it's super important um, that we have a really um, diverse group that in, are involved. And so I would encourage people to go to the coronavirus uh, prevention network.org and sign up to become a trial participant. Um, I think it's a critical way that we can all help make sure that one of these vaccines is available for all of us. And you, can you repeat where we go again, if we wanna sign it's, up? Yeah, sure, it's coronaviruspreventionnetwork.org. Okay, go in there and be part of that. And I know we've heard it yep. before, but again, I don't think we can hear it enough. What are the best ways to reduce the risk of sure. contracting COVID-19? Yeah, so I, always important, um, to stay home when you're sick. Um, if you have symptoms, stay home, get tested um, by many of the local areas where that's available. Um, really important to wear your mask in public places. Um, anytime you're going out in the community, um, have a face covering um, that assures that you're um, not gonna transmit um, even asymptomatically to other people. Wash your hands frequently. And you know, generally what we've been telling people is if you have symptoms, call your doctor and get tested. Um, really important. We need to identify who is positive and be assured that we can follow those people and do um, appropriate contact tracing to make sure we can capture all the cases and avoid additional transmission that happens. All right. Well, Dr. Stephen Pergam, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate all that you are doing on the medical front on this issue. Well, thanks for having us on. We, you know, we really appreciate all the efforts the media is doing to get the message out. Thanks a lot for your time. All right. We'll be right back.